as I could share, we're back with Sherlock. Season 2. So season 1 was definitely a fun little start. Um, I'm sort of just vibing with it. It's fun. Like, I don't know, I enjoyed John in Sherlock's banter. I think, like, the... It was just, like, a fun time watching the episodes, really. I just enjoyed it. It was just like... Yeah, Sherlock's really over the top. I'm curious to see... I don't know how to... I wonder how if Sherlock's going to develop a relationship with John that's going to develop as we go forward. Um, no, but I look forward to seeing them more on screen. Like, I've enjoyed every scene they had together. They was really, they, they've got great chemistry. But yeah, we'll jump into it. So, guys, if you enjoyed the action, leave a like, check out Patreon for the next one. Let's jump into this. Three, two, one, play. Staying alive of all songs to pop on. Yes, of course it is. What do you want? <laughs> Which is just some warm. Some types of tobacco ash nobody's reading your website. Right then. Dyed blonde hair, no obvious cause of death except for these. Man just got savaged. Oh, he's upset. Oh, he cut him deep. Two ideas. Maybe two ideas. Hey! <laughs> I like how they've modernised it in a way with the, having the internet and blogs and stuff. I think it's like quite fun. So obviously it's going to be set like quite <laughs> early. It gives it a bit more of a flair, I guess. The public image. Big case like this. It's like a detective in Austin and you just public image. Hey, it's hat. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. See, I know nothing about Sherlock Law, so... It's similar to how when I was watching Merlin, how I didn't really know anything about Merlin's law, so it's like, oh, a surprise to me. Because in these types of shows, they always have, like, set characters that always show up. She's such a chilled landlady. Who attacks somehow. Don't worry, this is just stupid. What did you say? <laughs> I don't know who's going to be in the room. <laughs> uh... We actually had, we actually had a queens. <laughs> you can hear the guards outside. What? I don't know. Did they see the queen? Oh, apparently, yes. <laughs> <Hey>! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the bants. <laughs> that sibling energy. <laughs> He's such a dickhead. <laughs> Got over there. <laughs> Quite interesting, Sherlock, in this situation, actually. Dominatrix, what the hell he's going to do? <laughs> Such idiots. I killed people. You were a doctor. I had bad days. I had bad days. I had some in the palace. I know. God, she is hot. <laughs> Couldn't resist. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We've got better things to talk about. No, 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 no. <laughs> I confiscated. So if you could turn it off now, give me a minute. Oh, okay, just a guy with a gun. Thank you. Hands behind your head on the floor, keep it still. Sorry, sir. What's that accent? His hands are on the floor. No, sir, I want you to open the safe. America. Interesting. Yeah, that's why. Uh, just really stands out. <laughs> it's funny. Hey. Good job. It was. Ooh. Get wrecked, son. Oh, she okay? She dead? It's all right, she's just out cold. Okay. Well, God knows she's used to that. <laughs> well then. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, the answer to his question. 
Kind of like her. She's cool. And the hiker? Good. A boomerang. You got that from one man? Definitely the new sexy. Jesus, it's crazy what he could kill you. <laughs> I got killed by his own boomerang. That's savage. Fick me in love, guys. No, no. Oh, back to bed. Back to bed. <laughs> I just put him to sleep. No, not the way she treats me. This is changing. His text. Uh, how did she do that so quickly? Don't treat Mrs. Hudson this way. Mrs. Hudson's lovely. Yes, she deserves all the respect. <laughs> Can we change that ringtone, please? It should be nice to you at all times. John, mm. come from your blog. Wallace. So says 1895. Oh, Christmas is cancelled. You got a photograph of me wearing that hat. Do people like the hat? No, they don't. What people? People like the hat. I've seen much worse, but then I do postmortems. Oh, God, sorry. Don't make jokes, Molly. Oh, Molly's adorable, bless her. Miss Shooter has love on her mind. The fact that she's serious about it is clear from the fact she's giving uh, It's going to have Sherlock on it. And that she's seeing him tonight is evident from her makeup and what she's wearing. Obviously trying to compensate for the size of her mouth. You're an idiot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Such a twat. <laughs> oh, Molly, no! Does he feel bad? <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Forgive me. Jesus. Don't forget I've seen I Sorry. I love <laughs> that I've developed in like one episode. Might be a bit difficult. She faked her own death. What's up? Oh. Thank Jesus you. Christ, what did they do to her? What is this? Yeah, just Ah uh, Molly. <laughs> You're a great boyfriend. Oh, okay, that's good. I mean I always thought I was great. Now Sherlock Holmes is a very lucky man. Oh. 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 oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't have a dog. No, because that was the last one. Okay. That was really bad. Jesus. Jesus. No? Okay. Okay. That really wasn't very good, was it? <laughs> that was really bad, John. <laughs> uh, John and his relationships. <laughs> Mycroft could just phone me. If he didn't have this bloody stupid power complex. Oh, come on. If, if you could do this and be this dramatic to pick people up, you fucking would. Like, if I was rich enough to send a car to my friend's house with, like, a secretary, like, it's time to come in just to watch Lord of the Rings or something, I would. Like, come on. <laughs> this is what you really do when you have lots of money. Yeah, you would question mark, lady. You jealous? Hmm. We're not a couple. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm out there. Still cares. I'm not actually gay. Well, <laughs> no one cares. Go on to fanfix.net. No one cares. <laughs> ah.
Oh, Mrs. Hudson, no! Long she's okay. Oh, the Americans. How dare you take Mrs. Hudson? That's like declaring war. He really is a moron, Jesus Christ. Oh, is he? I fell out the window. <laughs> I guess you're not too scared for people. Shame on you, John Watson. Shame on me. Mrs. Hudson, leave Baker Street. England would fall. <laughs> she deserves all the love, Queen. <laughs> Oh, savaged. No, she played you. Is it worth the risk? No, she played you. Oh my god. This is the weirdest floating ever, but whatever. We move. I don't know if I just sort of used to it now. Take this offer. <laughs> A list of my requests and some ideas about my protection once the time comes. Well, fair play to her. She played the game. She was winning. <laughs> it's so tense. It's about Irene Adler. Huh? No. Something happened when she came back. She's not even guessed. She's, uh, I've just come into my crossbow station because, of course, oh. she's back in London. No. She's, uh. Oh, he's gone with that one. Ooh, John. America. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm assuming he's going to guess. He knows if he's lying to him. Yes, he's an excellent. Oh, but I will have to tell you this. There's nothing in it for me. I still have it. Wow, feelings. Well, it's probably the first time he's ever asked for anything. Well, in a way, you know what I mean. He's asked for loads from John Boat still. Well, She's a fun character, bit of a shame. Mm. <laughs> oh, and he, oh, he replied to one. The one and only. Mm. Oh, so that actually no, so it did. Okay, so that actually did happen. He actually did. Uh, conveniently, was there, and that sex always went off, and she is alive. I don't know if I thought it was like a truth. So we wish she did. So I assume she is still alive. We will only know as I watch the series if she appears again. I'm sure it's quite a fun character. I enjoyed. I enjoyed uh, her actually in the show. I thought she was actually quite fun. Um, no. Pretty straightforward episode. Very, very good. Um, it did feel very long, but it felt like there was a lot of information. I really liked seeing the, the sibling energy between uh, Moriarty and Sherlock. I actually do really enjoy like, their dynamic. John, as usual, for Molly with Molly and uh, Hudson. Hudson was a good addition. I like him. I like, I like Molly. <laughs> Molly's adorable, but she needs to go for someone other than Sherlock. <laughs> Bless her soul. Uh, Moriarty got a little bit of a cameo just to fuck with him, but in the end it looks like Sherlock sort of won. But he did fuck with a plan that was uh, years in the making. Well, yeah, in the making. Not just a fun episode. I think like I really enjoyed Adler. I think she was a really fun addition to the cast. I'm in love with her. 
the actor is like, mm. <laughs> I never, no, I really enjoyed it. They should have a gas. She was quite fun there. Um, I'm curious if we'll see her again. Um, assuming that the end is that she's still alive. And yeah, no, overall, just a very fun episode. A well shot. And I start season two. Look forward to see where they're going to take it. So if put, this is a crazy cliffhanger to leave between seasons. I think the reason they were so long between seasons is because of the A-list act, low level actors who have very busy schedules. The next season would have begun when they had time. Uh, they all really love their roles. It's so cool to hear them talk about how much they love playing the characters. And they don't, um, and they don't want to stop. It reflects on the show's quality as it goes as we go on. They really are invested in making of the show. So we've got Andrew Scott, Jim Moriarty, is one of my favourite actors ever. Since I first saw him in the episode, Moriarty is such an interesting and predictable. And honestly, the, this pool season reason I got hooked on the show. Season 2 was already airing when I started watching the show, so luckily I did not have to wait, which is good. But if I remember well, it was more than two years between season 3 and 2. And that was such a long wait for people with so many crazy theories. This is def- I bet this is quite a fun show to actually do the theories on and stuff like that. Uh, this is definitely an episode I've watched several times and I always enjoyed Sherlock and John's banter, one of my favourite things. I don't find it must be to be a hostage. Hard to believe the old lady didn't have a heart attack or or any of them really. But how brave she was to actually give Sherlock a clue about the voice. She hardly... See, so yeah, I guess she wouldn't even be thinking straight in that situation as well. So it makes sense that she just did that. Sadly, it was all her left, her and 11 people dying. I also love the, the uh, back and forth between Sir Locke and Ellen straight in this episode. Can't wait. I like the cop guy, how he still gets like quite a bit of screen time. But no, we've got quite a nice little side cast building up. So I'm looking forward to seeing that extend. And yeah, no, I'm looking forward to some more fun episodes. I'm curious to see some more between Moriarty and Sherlock going off. More shot John, uh, uh, John and Sherlock Banter. And I also love that everyone just keeps saying that J- John is uh, Sherlock's boyfriend. I find that quite funny. But you guys, hopefully, enjoy.